Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this of course is Fallout 76, and we are here today to talk about blueprinting your camp in Fallout 76. So here we have a turret on a stand, we have a water pump, and we have my main camp structure with a little bit of a jump up into it. We have some posters, crafting benches. I'm showing you all of this because I want you to recognize it once it's in the blueprint. How do we blueprint? Come over to your camp and you can use it to enter build mode or enter build mode however you prefer tab out of whatever it automatically threw you into and if you look at the very bottom now you have a list of options that include edit blueprint store scrap replace switch to build and exit we want blueprint and for the pc that is holding down the enter key while looking at something we want to blueprint See it turn blue, let it go, it'll turn gray, that means it's blueprinted. Now, if we want to add this rocking chair, we look down at the bottom again, we see grow selection is the C key, press the C key, we get the rocking chair, but we get a bit more, because the blueprint system likes to add things that are attached. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see in yellow the budget for the overall camp, and below that, the budget for this blueprint the blueprint budget in blue we have quite a bit more room to go so if we look again at some part of the structure down at the bottom and we see select structure is the z key press that now we have the entire contiguous structure so everything that's attached from the bone charms to the benches the posters however the water pump outside is still blue because it is not attached and this turret stand over here is blue because it is not attached. Now that we have our blueprint made and you can see our blueprint budget is full, we create this blueprint by pressing the R key down at the bottom there and we get a new place to store a blueprint. So let's go to an empty slot. We'll make this our main camp and the blueprint is stored. If we come over and look at blueprints, we can see that I have a generator shed that's not currently up. We have this turret stand and we have the main camp. Now, what I'd like to show you about the turret stand is this. If we just wanted to create another turret stand from the blueprint, if you look in the upper right hand corner again under budget, you can see that it has a cost one circuitry, two gears, two oil, four steel, and six wood. And we could create an entirely new instance of this foundation with a turret. But if we come over here and press R to store this machine gun. Now you have to be very careful because store and scrap are in the same thing. So make sure you're pressing R again to store and the same with this foundation, R to store, R again to store. Now, if we bring up this blueprint again, you can see that it no longer has a cost associated with it. We can place it down, and because we stored those items, we can place them again for free. So we'll store this all again, and now what we're going to do is move our camp. So we'll exit build mode. We're going to wander into a hopefully similarly flat place because it's a little bit touchy. So we're going to move our camp for 29 caps and we'll place it right there, turn around, and the camp we were just inside of is gone. But we enter build mode again, either by using the camp or pressing the V key and we have blueprints, but these aren't what you want to use because if you look at the main camp there, I can't actually build it. That's why it's got the no ghost symbol running through it, right? I don't have enough aluminum, ceramic, screws, or wood, but the original camp is stored. So we just need to be on the right one. I believe this is that structure, our main camp. Oddly enough, it doesn't actually say main camp like it is written as a blueprint, but press the enter key when it turns green and we can place it down. Coming inside, we have our bone charms. 
We have our posters, we have our lights and our crafting stations. The camp itself is outside because we moved it. You can tab out of blueprints or stored and just grab the camp and put it back inside your, your uh, structure if you like. And now I had another part of this. Well, there is our water pump. We can put that back manually. It was stored as well. So you can see on the right that it doesn't have a cost associated with it. And then we have the last structure, which is my generator structure, which wasn't up because, well, honestly, it's a little difficult to get these things to line up the way you want sometimes. We got lucky. There we go. I'm just going to slap it down right there. And then we can connect this wire to that wire. And we are good to go again. We have power in here. And we have our structure, turrets, and generator in here. And that is how you blueprint a camp. And how you reconstruct those blueprints after you've moved it. Remember, you don't want to use the blueprints when you're reconstructing. You want to use stored if you've moved your camp. Alrighty folks, this has been Checkers with a look at how to blueprint your camp in Fallout 76. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Or perhaps some of our friendly viewers will help as well. I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video informative and maybe even just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Most of all though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.